I've been I've been sent this to test. There you go. I think it's got a 10.2 inch screen. There's not a whole lot of information about it, but if I will just do a bit of an unboxing. Um, full disclosure, I, I have already unboxed it and had a look. So this is the unit. That's the unit. I'm going to take that bit off. It's it's quite it's it's a nice looking a nice looking well made thing. And in the back here, there there's a dash cam. If I can get that blue sticker off, so we'll actually be able to see through it. So we'll get that off. So there's a dash cam in the back. So it's it's a dual purpose. Well, it's actually. It's actually triple purpose, which I'll show. So you can move the dash cam around like so. Again, ideally, it needs to be mounted so it can look out your windscreen. Um, I'm going to mount it here because I've already got a Cobra dash cam anyway. But I'm going to mount this. And <laughs> that's my Cobra dash cam has got a front facing camera. It's also got a cabin camera. Now, what I'm going to use this for is a reversing camera and also the kind of the rear view the, the the rear view dash cam now again in here you'll see here they've sent me the hardwire kit so that's it a usb that's the wiring bit to to plug into it um this that's the auxiliary lead and you can plug the dash cam into the back this is wired to live all the time and that's ignition switched that's an earth now the ignition switched that works your parking um camera it will it will do a lapse while your vehicle is parked so it'll it, i think it's up to five frames a, a, a second but it, it'll just keep watch of the, the car overnight so then we've also got a gps unit which i don't need because it'll work through my phone and then here we go Here's the rear view camera. Now, the rear view camera, I will try and set up and just show you. And take that off. So that plugs in. The red lead here, that goes to your reverse lamps. So it will power it up and it'll override the picture on the screen when you put it in reverse. So we'll just, again, we'll just put this down for, for the time being. I have got somewhere there's there is a sticky pad uh, there's the sticky pad specifically for the camera there you go specifically for the camera so that goes on there just in case you don't want to screw it in i'm not sure whether we'll be able to just fasten it up there but we'll we'll have a go Cars getting to be a bit of a mess. I will use the hard wire kit myself, and uh, so that would be that one with the fuses on. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to use here we go, I'm just going to use a power bank. We'll plug this in so. Those are the plugs there, the USB in there. Switch on. And there you go, on it comes. We'll plug the camera in. Now that's a tiny, uh, a, a tiny pin plug. So we'll just get that out. You'll see there, that's showing the front camera, the front view camera at the moment, which is a pretty good picture to be, to be fair. I'm gonna put, plug this rear one in, that's, that's Kind of recognizing my touches there so i should be able to swap between this rear view one 
at the back just click on that if I swap there you go so that's the rear view one I'm just I should have undone all these before but uh, I didn't so that's that's kind of the rear view one find somewhere to balance it so it, it would go it would probably fit perfectly like so 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 the, so that's the reversing camera now what you've been waiting for the best thing if I just go here it's switched on just go back to home click on home so nothing's happening here we'll go to Bluetooth down Bluetooth, just wait a second, it's looking for devices. There we go, it's picked it up. Click on, it, it's connected. There you go, we'll wait here for a second, that's, showing you use carplay use carplay now you'll see there there's the home button we'll click on the home button and then you've got mobile internet go on to mobile internet there you go apple carplay it's absolutely brilliant the other thing is <laughs> the other thing i keep saying the other thing one more thing just one more thing man so we'll click play there i'm going to turn it down that's playing through the speaker. Here we go, music. You see their love story, Taylor Swift. Um, click play, click stop or pause. We can click onto the next track. You, you don't have to do anything now. And because I've got this set up and all paired, it's playing through the, um, the, the sound bar. If you want, you can, you can get it to play through your radio by Let's just go back, we'll, we'll go back there. We need to go to car and you've got FM here. If I go to FM, you'll see there audio out speaker or you've got, you can put it on FM, set it to a, set your radio to a certain frequency, set this to a certain frequency uh, by, by doing that. Sorry, if I put it on FM there and I can set it to a certain frequency and it will broadcast on that frequency so as so long as you've got it on FM you t tune your radio to the the same frequency and the music will come out through there alternatively you've got auxiliary so you click on auxiliary you've got the auxiliary lead which is uh, somewhere here in all this mess on the floor yeah so that's the auxiliary lead you put the auxiliary in the plug just here just there and then you plug that into the auxiliary in your car and if you've got it on auxiliary it will play through your car or bluetooth switch mode about to disconnect the current connection confirm oops bt confirm let's just turn that up And that's it playing. Um, you've got all the other features of Apple CarPlay. Here we go, maps. If you want to go somewhere, I, I'm going to do a, a longer video tomorrow on uh, how to use the Apple CarPlay. But the, the actual, this unit is tremendous. If I click on the bar there, we go back to car. And then you've got settings over here onto settings resolution for your front camera we want there we go we'll put it on 4k you've got here carplay position so click on there full screen but we can also do this confirm so that's on the left if we go back to carplay 
you've got your dash cam in the back here. So if I click that, click back to car, click back to settings, loop recording, well, that's for your dash cam. And you can see there, one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. So we'll do five minutes, so that lasts longer. We'll just check it's gone to there. Yeah, so it's still on five minutes. We'll go back. G sensor, that's if you have a collision. Collision. It will, uh, it, how sensitive it is, it will record that instant. Go back again, car operating. There we go. So the registration number of the, the vehicle. We've got... Um, Where's delete? So we'll delete all them and we'll go for B A. Where's R? R 21 E. So that's it. And we'll click on there. So that should put that registration number in the video. So that's all done. We'll click this on. We'll go back. Setting guidelines, screensaver back camera mirror well back camera mirror do we want that no that just flips the image um, back camera flip that's if you've mounted it upside down like so off and on or if you've had to mount it upside down format SD I've uh, forgotten to put the SD card in it so it won't record, but I will do later. Screencast recorder onto recorder. That's the recorder there. As you can see, that is just doing the seat. So you've got out the back there, out the back, and just go back and flip that. So you've got the front and the rear display. And as I, as I say, when you, if I just click that, if you've got that mounted as a reversing camera or outside, then it, it comes in very handy. It's, it's, ex, it's an extremely good uh, piece of kit. And, and for the, I don't know how they make it for the, for the money, to, to be honest. Um, but I'll, I'll, go through, I'll go through the rest. I'll make a part two. But fitting is as simple as that. As far as the wiring goes, the AMI is, is fantastic because it's got, it's got like a little ridge here. I mean, I, I've put this protection foam on, but I can mount the I can mount the camera here and then run it. There's, I think I think it will actually stick in there. I can I can mount it there. I can mount it in the back and then run it round, run the lead round. It'll come through here. Just try and show you. I can I can run run the lead through the back there where you can't see it, or alternatively under this lip here at the back, like so, and run it all the way around. The only thing I'll need to do is get that to the reversing light, but even that, I can take that through this fuse panel here. And uh, and connect it quite easily, and I can hide all the the extra lead uh, through the fuse box there, and then bring the rest up here and through my foam pipe in here down to the front and underneath the dash here to the actual uh, unit. Let's just go back there. And we'll go to home. I um, I mean that's that's it. It's it's a stick on pad I think it'll be perfect there if you wanted to use the front dash cam fu function then obviously you'd have to I'll just just show you there um, we'll flip to the front one that's there you go that's totally the front one so it's a good picture but you would have to have it further up in all honesty I prefer the Cobra dash cam but for an Apple CarPlay unit, then um, this this is absolutely ideal. So I'll I'll be I'll be mounting that there, 
and it's uh, it, it's fantastic. I hope that was clear. It's been a bit of a rush today. I'm working. I'm expecting a customer any minute. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.